I'm about to show you five things in the movie Hook that you'll never be able to unsee. So if you'd rather stay in Neverland and not have your childhood ruined, then you'd better not watch. If you look closely at this iconic shot, you can tell Rufio's lips aren't in sync with his dialogue. You're dead, jolly man. And that's because this whole shot was filmed in reverse for safety reasons. So the reason why his lips are out of sync is because he had to mouth the line backwards, and then he touched up his audio later in post-production. You're dead, jolly man. One of the more memorable stunts of the climactic pirate fight was when Thudbutt turned into a boulder to bowl over some of the pirates. Hmm, I wonder where Spielberg got the idea for that. To film the shot of Thud folding himself in half, they dressed up another boy's legs to look like Thud's, and had him raise them in the air so the actor could grab them. And for the boulder, they used a latex and foam dummy to roll down to bowl over the pirates. Hook was filled to the brim with big movie stars, but the movie also features a lot of big-name talent in the background characters as well. A well-known but still surprising cameo is that the bearded pirate who gets thrown in the boo box was played by Glenn Close. And it seems Spielberg wanted the force to be with him on this film, because he reportedly cast Carrie Fisher and George Lucas as the kissing couple we see on the bridge while Tink is flying Peter back to Neverland. Spielberg must have a thing for musicians because he cast British pop star Phil Collins as the police inspector. And two American musicians, David Crosby and Jimmy Buffett, were cast as pirates. Spielberg cast his goddaughter Gwyneth Paltrow as young Wendy before she became famous. And Dustin Hoffman not only played the role of Captain Hook, but he was also the voice of the Pan Am pilot we hear during the Banning's flight to London. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, your captain once again. Please do not allow this minor turbulence to disturb me. We shall soon Speaking of Captain Hook, there's a clue hidden in plain sight throughout the whole movie that foreshadowed his death. If you look closely at Hook's pirate hat, you'll notice that it has triangular detailing around the brim that looks a lot like crocodile teeth, which is a subtle hint about how he would die at the end of the movie. Even though Hook is somewhat of a sequel to the Peter Pan novel, the movie has several references hidden in it that call back to J.M. Barrie's book. For starters, the Peter Pan book we see at Granny Wendy's house is a real first edition copy, and many lines of the dialogue from it were used in the movie too, such as, If any of you said this here skug ain't Peter Pan. No little children love me. I expected my shadow and I would join together like drops of water. Prepare to meet thy doom. <laughs> Dark and sinister man, have at thee. To die will be a great adventure. Strike to Pan. Strike true. And of course, bad form! But the movie is why we all know the word <laughs> Click a video on the screen for more facts about other Robin Williams movies, and sometimes foam latex thud butts, right here on Fun Fact Films.